Alright, y'all. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> what up, Lit Fam? <laughs> nah, just play it. Alright, y'all. How y'all doing? Oh my god. Mm. And we you know we got the heart cut. The iron heart. Yes, sir. What it do, y'all? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a Q and A. Uh, I posted on my on my YouTube asking y'all to ask me some questions. So I'm gonna be going through y'all questions and answering them for y'all. So let's get right into it. First question coming from Jahini. Uh, hello, Ryan, aka Lily. When and why did you start making YouTube videos? Uh, I started making YouTube videos when I was 13. Uh, I did reaction videos. They're all on private on my channel. Those videos will never be seen. And why did I start making YouTube videos? Uh, I always enjoyed the process of like uh, video creation and uh, seeing how the final product will look. Like starting from like the beginning of a video of just straight footage and being able to uh, create something that is entertaining and able to watch. Uh, that's really why I enjoy doing YouTube. And that's why I continue to do it. So y'all finna see. All right, second question coming from fan of the biggest pop group in the world. He said, what is your dream? My dream is to make good content for y'all, entertaining content that y'all can watch on a day to day and, and enjoy and uh, really just be able to connect with y'all and be able to create a community and a fan base. I actually not fan base because I consider y'all as family, not fans. So uh, that's my biggest dream is to really keep going up in this uh, content creation and uh, keep streaming for y'all. Third question coming from Anna, what makes you laugh the most? I say just genuine funny stuff, like just stuff that is unexpected, always makes me laugh, like stuff that uh, you wouldn't expect someone to say in the moment. That is the most pure comedy uh, you can get. So uh, to answer your question, I'll say just pure comedy pretty much. All right, fourth question coming through. Uh, we got Prima uh, Limbu. She said, how you motivate yourself when you feel low? Um, I feel like the biggest thing, if you're ever like demotivated, don't feel like doing something, uh, I, I say self-isolation. Get comfortable with just being around yourself and, and find things that you can do to uh, motivate you. I think a big thing is like going to YouTube and looking up motivational videos. Uh, I follow a lot of motivational stuff on Instagram, like when I'm scrolling through Instagram, just little quotes and things other famous people have said to help me like kind of stay motivated and keep doing what I'm doing because it's something I really want to do for a long time and motivation is one of the biggest things because if you're not motivated to make videos then you're not going to make them simple as that so I'd say follow some stuff and uh really just uh be one with yourself and and find what motivates you but what motivates me is just the things I see in the world like uh things I want to accomplish people I want to help you know so that's what really motivates me. Envo, shout out my editor was Envo, coldest editor in the game too. Uh, he said, what is your favorite Italian food? My favorite Italian food would have to be pasta. And if we were to choose a pasta, it would have to be spaghetti. You can never go wrong with spaghetti pasta with some Parmesan. That's the best meal you can eat. If you ever been to Spaghetti Works, I haven't, don't eat there. It's not true Italian. Get some real Italian. Come over to the Literally Crib and you'll get some real Italian. I'm not gonna be able to hit every single question, so I'm just kind of going through and picking the ones I think really stood out and that I can answer good for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ramdini asked me actually hell of questions, so we're just gonna go through a few of his. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself making content uh, on YouTube and being able to create an influence for people that watch my videos and can feel some type of enjoyment off of watching my content. Uh, also, uh, streaming more, being a big streamer. That's like my biggest thing. I wanna be a big streamer, but also a big YouTuber at the same time. So I'm gonna like kind of use both platforms to combine to like one pretty much. But if I see myself in five years, I see myself hitting 100K on YouTube, that is the goal. Uh, that's not really like my five year goal, but uh, for like an reachable goal for the next five years, I'd say 100K on YouTube. He also said, uh, what's something that most people know, don't, not many people know about you? Another question he said is, what's something that not many people know about you? Um, I'm actually like, kind of like, hmm, it's a good question. Hey, good question, bro. What's something that most people don't know about me? Um, that, um, 
I'm a very good singer in the shower. When I'm washing my body and I'm singing, it's like I'm a deal. I don't know how to answer that one, but I'm really like most people don't know about me is like that I'm like I do multiple things and just one thing behind the scene like I know I make YouTube videos and stuff But I'm also a skateboarder. I also make music. I also um, Engineer music um, So those are like a few things that most people don't really know about me They just kind of think of me as like a youtuber streamer, but I do other things too next question uh, Just can't Ken said uh, what is your favorite hobby right now? My favorite hobby right now would be making YouTube videos again because I haven't done this in a while. So this is kind of like new, but not really new, but we kind of getting back in the swing of things. So I say that's like my favorite hobby right now is just getting back on the tripod, making videos for y'all. Um, So yeah, that's, my, that's like kind of my hobby right now. Next question. Pichu said, if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? If I could change one thing about the world, I'd change the poverty. Uh, in the US because there's a lot of homeless people and there's too much money in the world to have homeless people. So I feel like uh, to be able to give back to people that really need it, I feel like that would be something that I'd change. Next question, coming from Oblimi, uh, if, if you, oh my God. <laughs> okay, Oblimi said, if, you, if you'll have to disappear right now and transport into another dimension, what would that be? And one thing you will never leave. Uh, if I could go into a di di another dimension, I would say I'll go back in the time of the dinosaurs because I really want to see what a big T-Rex looks like. You know what I'm saying? And some pterodactyls. And one thing I would never leave, uh, I'd bring my my PC set up with me so I could uh, go live with a T-Rex. That'd be fire. It's Maisie, your Turkish grandma. Shout out Maisie too. I'll see you in the streams. Uh, McDonald's or Burger King? I've never been a big Burger King uh, person, so I'd have to say McDonald's because you cannot go wrong with McDonald's. They got breakfast, they got lunch, they got dinner, they got whatever you need. Hit a McDonald's, cheap, easy, fast. Uh, it's not good for you, but I'd have to say McDonald's over Burger King. Uh, TikTok Blue, I seen you in my stream too. Shout out to you, bro. How do you see yourself in the future? Um, I really see myself in a different state than Iowa. I really want to like expand into different places in the world and uh, grow as like a brand pretty much. So I see myself in the future continuing to do this right here and uh, you know, be somewhere else than where I live. So yeah. All right, next question coming from Zotia Zoel. She said, uh, what's well, one thing you would change about yourself if you could? If I could change one thing about myself, it would be my face. Cause I'm super ugly and you know, yeah. I'm just playing. To answer your question, Zoti, I said one thing I change about myself is my height. I want to be a little taller, like 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 would be cool, but I'm 5'11", but I'm 6 foot. Let's say what you I'm 6 foot. The other seller said, which is your favorite movie? I'd have to say my favorite movie would have to be either an uh, Adam Sandler movie or a Jim Carrey movie. Um, I'd probably say Adam Sandler, though. He has a lot of good movies. He has Click. He has, uh, have y'all ever seen... If y'all haven't seen it, Big Daddy, where he, the little kid, uh, Aquaman or whatever his name is. Is that what his name is? Aqua, uh, Scuba, Scuba Steve, Scuba Steve. I would have to say Adam Sandler, you know, he, he got a good, a lot of good movies. So if I was to say my favorite movie though, I'd have to say The Green Mile, which has nothing to do with Adam Sandler, but that movie is fire, bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, next question coming from uh, Yulisa. She said, who inspires you? Uh, who inspires me is probably my dad because he'd be work he's a hard worker and I look up to that. So if I was to say who inspired me, it'd be my dad or my mom. You know, they both put in work and I see that and they inspire me because I want to be able to uh, be able to provide for my kids like they have for me. So that's who inspires me is my parents. All right, next question. Shanna said, uh, are you judgmental? Just asking. Uh, judge, I'm not really a big judgmental person. I feel like you are who you are and the things you do is because that's what comes to your mind. I'm never gonna judge someone based off of the work they're putting in or something they've done. I feel like everyone makes mistakes and everyone has their own creative mind. So to be judgmental is a, it's kind of a shitty thing. So I don't put it in my day to day. I'm not a big judgmental person. 
Um, actually, I'd rather I'd actually say I'm more like supportive. I want to see people do good. So, um, to answer your question, I am not judgmental. All right, next question coming from Jashita. She said, "Are you a dog person or a cat person or both?" Uh, I'd have to say I'm a dog person. Uh, I think a dog is just you. Can, you can build a better connection with a dog than you can with a cat. Cat kind of just is on its own, doing its own thing. So I'd have to say I am a dog person. Next question coming from Serena. She said, how are you doing? And I appreciate that because a lot of people don't ask that question, but I'm doing good. You know, we're living the dream right now. Y'all making it possible, showing all the love. So I appreciate that, but I am doing good. Life is good right now. So I would say I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Doing amazing. Question coming from I'm a Zambi. She said, uh, who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush. Me down when they get rainy. No matter the cost, I'ma be there for you. All right, next question coming from Shini. Uh, you said, "What is the thing you hate the most?" I hate when people chew with their mouth open. Like, if you're sitting there just smacking your lips, ooh, I don't like like ASMR and like just like smacking to the lips. But that's the most thing I hate. You can, you know what I'm saying? Mark said, "What is your full name?" I'm not gonna say my middle name. But I'm literally, literally, so that's my full name. You guys know me as Ryan too, but that's that's the furthest we're getting with that one. <laughs> Bethel said, uh, what is your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment would have to be uh, I pissed myself at a baseball game one time <laughs> and I tried acting like Gatorade was, got spilled on my pants. But it, we were really just like, we we're in the middle of an inning. Like anyone that knows baseball, we we're in the middle of an inning and we we're out on the field uh, defending. And I was in the outfield and it was a really long inning. We were getting smacked and I had to go pee from like the start of the inning. And I ended up pissing myself in the outfield. And then coming in, I came into the the dugout and grabbed a drink. And I was like, I can wait. I was drinking. And I was like, whoa, went all over me, bro. And then I just played it off like that. That's going to do it for the Q&A video, y'all. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy this video. For everyone that uh, asked me questions on the post I did for my community post on YouTube, I appreciate all y'all. If I didn't get to your question, I'm so sorry. I'll do another video like this later on in the future. Or y'all can come into my live streams. I live stream on days I don't post videos. It's not gonna be every day I don't post a video, but it's gonna be on most days where I don't post videos. Y'all will see a live stream from me. So if you guys wanna ask me questions, y'all can go into my live stream too and also ask some things I haven't answered and I might answer for y'all. Let me know what y'all wanna see for future content. You know, uh, I'm trying to get back into this and find ideas for y'all so y'all can really enjoy what I'm putting out. I know a lot of y'all are coming over from Ironheart's channel, which is a lot of um, OME content. So y'all will still be seeing all me videos on here, uh, along with some vlogs and some other things going on, day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, but I really hope y'all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Love y'all, man. Peace, man. Yeah. World too bad that we live in. People killing, people dying, people sinning. I'm focused on my grind, I'm winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. World too bad. It's world too bad that we live in. Whoa, whoa. It's world too big that we live in People killing, people dying, people sinning